Oh boy, it's nice to see you. Thank you for joining me here at the Crow Cottage. I'm Kathy Crow here in Springfield, Missouri. And already at the beginning, I see my internet's not working great because I was like waiting on three. Uh, Facebook gives you a count of three now before you actually go live, which is nice, but usually I'm like straightening up my top because you can see yourself and I can like, oh my, I can't believe I look like that. But um, today I was on three for a long time and even now I see myself like hesitating. So if my video is sketchy, I'm terribly sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Today, I am going to do Supremely Awesome. Now, this is a really good title of a stamp set. Why don't they do things like this more? Um, I'm not very clever, so I can't come up with good titles. They actually come up with really good ones a lot of the time, but um, I think this one's a particularly good one just because I love pizza. My whole family loves pizza. And the card I made today, I am, I'm, I would not normally do this, but I think every single one of our kids is getting pizza gift certificates just so I can mail out this card. <laughs> That's the only reason. I don't know anyone else to mail pizza gift certificates to, particularly. I suppose our pastor's office would probably like it. Maybe I'll send one to them. They probably they deserve it for sure. They're awesome. All right. I I should make a note of that right now before I forget. Okay, I'm gonna show you this card. This is actually courtesy of Dye's Den. I forget her name. Obviously it's Dye. Um, but Diana, maybe? I don't know. I'm not even really sure. I don't I do follow her quite a bit. She's very, very talented. She has a whole lot of great things. She's a Australian, I believe. Um so check her out. Go find her, Dye's Den, and uh, and then and this is a variation really of her fun fold. Now, so here's the front. This is what we're going to do today. You can untie it, and then it opens up to this really cool sender. She doesn't do a little pop up with it, and I don't know that I'm going to do mine that way today, just because I don't know if I'll have time to do it. But you can very easily put a fun, fun one of those little fun little twist and fold corner pop-ups it's like mine is I don't know why it's not cooperate it's supposed to go in and down and up like that really easy and like that it was working out okay but sometimes it doesn't now it has like these pockets there and there so you can do a variety really of um, and then it closes really nicely it is gonna it does have a binding so this would be a fat package it would be mailed as a package i don't i think if you flatten it out really good you can flatten it out pretty somewhat actually it doesn't completely flatten it out if you did that it would kind of ruin it so you're gonna have to mail it as a package oh well these days mailing costs are so expensive that that that's something i try not to do too much anymore mailing packages i used to not worry about it but now it's just gotten ridiculous so, so much so that it is, whenever you are offered free shipping now, it's like a tremendous savings. <laughs> so check it out when our new mini catalog comes live. Uh, just before it, I'm going to be offering free shipping on things for you if you are sh shopping with me. Because um, for me, that's a bit a bigger savings than anything else. And, um, and then you're getting exactly what you want right so anyhow when that comes out for those of you who are a customer of mine already and have ordered through me you will be getting a mini catalog in the mail and then i am going to send along with that now that comes from stampin up does not have my name on it or anything it's just coming out like a blank catalog to you but it is from me if you are a customer of mine you and have ordered anything that you have ordered in the past year then um, you will be getting one from me and um, I also am gonna mail in a, just a card so that you know it is from me and and you have my ordering information and then I also will be including in that card your free shipping offer for that. Now that catalog, I don't know when they're gonna mail it. It doesn't come live until September. Um, our, we demonstrators are gonna get a pre-order for it in August, I believe. And um, 
So that in August is when I will be getting that card thing together and getting it mailed to you so that you have it when your catalog does arrive. I'm always excited about this cat. I mean, everyone is. This catalog that will come out to you in September is always it's not the best one of the year, but it's just the most fun because it has all of the major holidays in it. And so it's very good. Okay, so enough said about that. Um, there's a lot of online specials right now. You don't want to miss those. And, oh, I, I better check and see if I can't. I Usually I can't even see if anyone is with me now that I have my... I've, I'm having to see it on my phone. Can you believe this? Um, I guess I could have probably tried to get it again on, oh, come on, Facebook. I could have tried to get it on my, I got a new laptop, but that new laptop, it's not, it should be running great and it's really not, which is kind of funny. So anyhow, I do see that I am here. So that is good. <laughs> That sounded really stupid, but it actually is the way it is. I am here. I am here. Okay. Ah, uh, let's get started, and then I'll try to work on my lights. I keep rearranging things. You can see I'm back to my normal configuration because I couldn't couldn't keep track of which side my camera was on. So I just thought, fine, I will just go back to what I know. All right, and then we will see how our lighting and all of that works. But at least I should be able to oh, camera. Stop, my hand is like right there to stop you from doing what you were trying to do. All right, so I am gonna, I keep thinking I've got this and I keep not getting it. It's my, the arm of my, my, my support just does not like to let my, <laughs> doesn't like the way I have it on my desk and I thought I had it worked out and I don't understand why it's not but it's not maybe if I turn it around again and do it oh, I don't know but we're gonna just go ahead and try to center it I I would like to be able to have it straight down more and uh yeah, it's just not cooperating with me so I'm gonna move everything around desk. I've got this little luscious bowl of cherries here to sustain me in case I get famished while I'm doing this. You never know. Never know what will happen. I've got my phone cord dangling down here. Let's try to hook that up so that's not quite so much in the way. It doesn't like to be hooked, but it's going to be whether it likes to be or not. And then I can push all of this up and hopefully get get me totally in this screened area, which is what I'm trying to do. Okay, cherries out of the way. All right, I think, I think I can see everything now, fabulous. All right, so you can see here is my host card code. Um, this is actually my website. If you go, if you ever wanna contact me, go to this website. You can contact me through that. You can also contact me through Stampin' Up. If you just type in my name at Stampin' Up, I will come up as a demonstrator. I am not Kathy Crow in Illinois. <laughs> I am Kathy Crow in Springfield, Missouri. And um, because there is a Kathy Crow spelled exactly the same way in, in Illinois. So hello, Kathy, if you're watching. Once in a while, she peeks in to see what I'm doing. All right, let me move my pop can out of the way. I do not want to spill pop on this. This is such a cute project. You're going to love it. It's really, really fun. You can see I've labeled it from Dye's Den so I wouldn't forget who it came from because it's, it's super cute. Now, I think I'm doing my pop out arm slightly differently than she is, and that wasn't on purpose. It actually was accidental, but it ended up being okay uh, for the pop-up thing that I ended up doing. Okay, I'm still trying to figure this out. So I, I just want to make sure I am, you see everything I'm working on. Now this set, um, I've got my colors out for what I used because um, I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to color anything too much, but I do want to run through it with you. The blending pens are so cute. They, 
they made they made making a delicious pizza really simple but i actually ended up putting a few colors to get real pepperoni color in there because i love pepperoni but um, my family loves pepperoni the most and um, you know there's some things on your pizza you might not like but uh, most of us do so the thing about this is not only this wonderful chef guy now he's going to be a fan a fan even without his pizza you can take his pizza out of his hands and he can hold a cake and be a baker he can be all kinds of things he is fun 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 but this checkerboard side piece is fabulous so let's do that First, I think I'm gonna just do that because for this piece, I'm not great at getting things straight. So what I did is I I tried it and could and failed miserably. So um, I turned my red over and slapped it on the cover of this, and then I did all of this separately, cut it out, and then stuck it on so that it would be perfectly straight, and so that I could try to line up my little checkerboards um bet somewhat now i succeeded here really well but not so well up here so it just depends on how you do it but you can perfect it if you want to so my all i'm using is basic black and real red and um and then the, the one other thing i pulled in is a very old stamp set what's cooking very cute but it has garlic the i'm not fond of the celery on my <laughs> on my pizza but mushrooms and tomatoes are delicious plus you get your knife and a die that cuts out these things and uh, the rolling pin so this is an old set that I am using with this and uh, as you know if you've watched me at all I like to do oh, I like to use my old stuff I don't just do do the main stuff I like to use my old stuff too and it's one of the perks of being on our team is that you are encouraged and allowed to use your old thing for all sorts of reasons all right my cutting board's starting to really show its age if they come out with a new one I might end up buying it even though I don't really probably need it it's just that um yeah, this one's just getting pretty worn out. Okay, so what we are going to do first is we are going to cut out a piece of black cardstock. Let me make sure this is the outer one. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is my outer card, and we're going to cut it at eight and three quarters by five and seven eighths. Okay, so just take your um, black card stock and first of all we'll cut it at eight and three fourths eight and three fourths eight and three fourths they always say to say it three times but of course they don't mean like right in a row like I just did but that's the way to get people to remember things so eight and three fourths by five and seven eighths five and seven eighths is just that eighth mark right short of your six okay so five and seven eighths now we're going to turn it back to the long side again because this is where we're scoring it oh boy where did i put my i moved things around i saw my my pick tools putty got all hard inside of it i didn't know it did that and when i was rearranging things i think i lost my because i I was cleaning that and cleaning it. I, I like moved everything around. I cannot. Oh, it's on my. <laughs> How are you ding dongs? Like having glasses on the top of your head when you're searching for it. It's right here on my tray. All right. So now we're going to score it at four and one eighths. Oh, that was classic. That was a classic moment. Four and one eighths and four and four. Five eighths. So five eighths come to the four and a half, and then the one eighth mark after that is where you're going. So now we have this nice little spine right here. I don't a lot of times I don't stop to take advantage of my bone folder and burnish but I really should because it does make a big difference in your card making you know it really does it it's a good thing to have on hand to smooth things out all over the place okay so now we've got this little outer book and I'm gonna set that aside 
All right, now, um, one thing, oops, before I set it aside, you are gonna want ribbon to tie this, and this is the time to cut your ribbon and get it ready, because if you forget to do it now, later you're gonna regret it, and you, you, know, you will have totally forgotten it, and again, you'll regret it. I used, in my other one, I used the satin, real red ribbon that we have in the catalog, and it's fine and nice, but I think this time I'm going to use this organdy, and uh, and we're going to give that a go, okay? So I am going to apply it like right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it now with my tape uh, because I find some just to get it on there, and then I won't have to think about it later. So I'm just going to put some tape. Um, I'm going up, let's see, let me measure it. I bet it's about two inches. Yeah, a little less than two inches is where I'm going to end up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on here, like here and here. And I can, I can move, you know, that around a bit, that ribbon. That tape's only just kind of going to be holding it on there just to remind me, yeah, you got ribbon here to use, so... Um, if it moves a bit, it'll be fine. I do want it all flat, though. I don't want it. Okay, there we go. So now we got our ribbon on there. I'm going to put that on the side. And now we're going to cut the inner card. And um, I've got like a little template out here. Our inner card is eight and a half by five and seven eighths. Okay, eight and a half by five and seven eighths. We're doing that one in black too. Eight and a half. I'm gonna look and see if my scraps are big enough. Okay, five and seven eighths. It's big enough this way, so good. I do eight and a half. All right, right there. Eight and a half by five and seven eighths. This is like one of the few um, projects I've done like I don't know I'm gonna say maybe for a few months where I haven't had to alter the uh, oh boy alter the uh, dimensions at all when we get you know when we card makers get going we we sometimes make errors and I don't and I mostly it's my user error so I don't mean to blame people, but oh man, a lot of times I'm like, I don't know if that's the dimension she used. And when I write them out, sometimes I change mine as well. So sometimes when you're between the time of creating it and writing it, now that was a four inch score, and now we're going up to a four and a half inch score. Okay, so now we've got another one of these. Now before we do anything with it, we want to cut off this corner right here. So we're gonna cut it off um, from the two and a fourth inch mark on each side. So you're just gonna go measure up two and a quarter, and then you're gonna cut a diagonal line between this, this outer spine to this one, and then this outer spine on this side from two and a fourth up. And, um, you know, I, it, it does sort of need to be exact, but because you've got an actual spine and not a fold, you can't just cut them at the same time. So go ahead and get, if, if you want to, you can make it easier for yourself and just get a pencil and make a tiny little pencil mark where you can erase it later on this two and one quarter mark from the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna put the bottom here and then I'm gonna I'm gonna just put it like right there and then here's my two and one quarter mark right there and then I'm gonna not flip it because that would give me the wrong side so I'm gonna turn it over okay so I still want it from the bottom all right so I'm turning it over and then I am putting it on here again let me make sure I've got it actually I'm gonna I'm gonna just use this mark that I've marked already. Let me mark it right here. Rather than me mess with my measurements, I'm gonna actually just use that. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty close. 
and it, it doesn't need to be exact. I mean, it's going to look better if it is. But Now, you're going to take where your mark is, and then you're going to cut up again to that outer spine. So just lay the outer score line of the spine in the track and move your mark to the track down here. Okay, and now you're going to cut that corner off and do the same thing on the other side. You've got your mark right there. Keep going to this outer corner where the spine is, right there. Okay, put your little mark in the track and cut that off. Okay, now I'm gonna see if that was pretty close. I'm gonna burnish this and see if I'm, I've got it close enough. And if I don't, then now is the time to alter it slightly. And I can also erase my pencil marks because I really don't want those showing. All right, yeah, see, that's pretty close. It's not perfect. It is not perfect. There's a tiny bit of difference right here. All right, so if you're if you're a stickler for perfection, and uh, I usually am not, but I'm gonna just show you what you can do. So you've got, I can see where I my, I'm fine at the top, but it's just right here. It started to go at a little bit tighter of an angle. So I am gonna just clip it with my scissors and now I have a perfectly matching angle both sides. Okay, so just make it work. This is, that is my motto, make it work. It's, <laughs> it's fine, it'll be fine. Okay, now we have the inner and the outer done. That's exciting. Now we can glue this to this. But before I do that, I'm gonna check and see. I want this to be exactly, you know, functional here. So it does fit perfectly. Um, you know, I, I don't know that I want it to fit perfectly. Let me see if I did it that way. See, mine is a little, I did it a little shorter. Just because when you've got like tons of stuff inside and you're folding and all, sometimes things start hanging out that you don't want to hang out. So I am going to just trim a tiny bit off of the bottom. Not really like, not even a whole eighth of an inch. Well, maybe that is an eighth. That looks pretty fat. But that's going to just give me a tiny bit of room on this bottom and the top. So we're good. And my... My inner one seems good. There's a there's there's about an eighth of an inch in, so that's going to give me some room there. So that's good. I want to use my angle here for the template for my red cardstock that's going to be on there. So I could I what I did is I made a template already um, for my inner piece. But I'm since I altered that angle, I'm not sure it's really gonna work. So I'm gonna look at my template, and it actually it does. Okay, so what I would suggest doing, because angles are iffy, you get different ones depending on exactly how you did it. I mean, you can measure a perfect angle and get it, but I don't know anybody who does. So I would make a template of the of each side because one side is probably gonna be just ever so slightly different and so that's what I do when I'm doing angled stuff I just make a template for the piece I'm doing and then um, use it and then throw that template away because the next time you do it it's going to be slightly different all right I just erased all of my my um, all of, of my pencil marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the piece that's gonna be, uh, oh, should, maybe I should just cut it first. I think I will, I'll cut it first. All right, so let's, I'm gonna use this because it was matching pretty well. Um, again, if you haven't got that, then make one, make a template. You just, that's the easiest way to do it. So I am going to, Draw this out. Okay, 
This is the old fashioned way, but I do sometimes prefer it. It's more of a guarantee of stuff turning out well. That's actually gonna be just perfect or almost a little short, but I think I'm gonna make that work. Right there, okay. So that is my template, one on each side. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out because I wanna stamp them and I wanna make sure I stamp the correct side <laughs> when I do it. Oh man, I don't know how many times when you're doing a right and left, I've cut the wrong, stamped or cut. Oops, that got a little corner there. Mm. Oh well. We're gonna just leave it because my um, the little arms are gonna cover that up anyway, so it'll be fine. Okay, now I'm gonna get this again to make sure that this is actually gonna look good uh, and see if I need to trim it at all. Um, I am going to trim it a tiny bit because I want it to have a little more wiggle room. Let's see this side. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Actually, maybe I'll just leave it because if I trim one and don't trim the other, this one looks... No, I guess it's okay. Okay, I guess it's okay. For some reason, I'm thinking that one looks not exactly the same. It is the same, right? It is, so that means my angles are just slightly off is the only difference. Let's try it this, nope, that one. Let's try this one over here. Let's see if that makes a difference. Sometimes it does. Oh, I can see my pencil mark on this one. Okay, I'm going to turn it over. I don't want to have it there because I don't want to see any pencil mark. Okay. Yep, I am going to trim this one just a, just a tiny smidgen off the bottom. Okay, that kind of got rid of that weird corner that I ended up with there. Last week when I was riding my bike and came to the, at the end of the bike path that goes to our botanical garden, that is right at the top of our driving range, not our personally, but I mean the driving range that's like right there nearby. And there was a mother deer with her baby fawn right there in the path. It was really exciting. All right, so that is good. I've got my templates made. This is the direction they're going. So now I am gonna glue this down right here. Okay, let me get rid of some of my scraps. Um, I am gonna glue, let me think about this. Do I need to glue everything at this point? I'm peeking to see, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot, I want pockets here. So first of all, I'm gonna glue just the spine just the spine. Now you can use tape, it's just that I'm not as good with tape. And I can use my little adhesive remover, rubber remover, glue remover thing if I do make a big error. Let's make sure that's down good. All right, so now just to get your spine in exactly the right spot. Miss the ticket. <laughs> I know I got my head in here, but that's because I cannot see what I'm doing. It's black, and this dark black, basic black color is really hard to see. You want to get those score lines perfect with each other. Okay, and I'm having a hard time doing it. As soon as I shift one, the other shifts. There we go. Okay. All right. So that 
should be glued down nicely now. Okay, perfect. All right, now for the pockets, you um, you can do glue tape or glue, but you're just gonna do these. So you have a nice open pocket going on there, okay? Should be very nice. I really like this design. It's so easy to do. That mother deer was really cautious. Normally the deer are not that cautious because they are so used to people on the path. There's people walking and biking. It's a, it's, it is a biking and, but manual type biking, <laughs> not the motorized ones. So sometimes the kids have their skateboards and scooters on there, but I haven't even seen many of those. I think they got in trouble too. Obviously the motorized bikers did because I was seeing more and more of them and some of them are quite loud. I don't mean their mo motors are loud. It just seems like people who do that tend to like to have music going as well. And it's a little annoying. We're all out there enjoying nature. It's why we're there on that path. And then here, you know, you hear it coming from behind you. So the one good thing about it is they're not sneaking up on anyone. But it's like, seriously, you just scared all the animals away that we are out here on this path to enjoy. Okay, so it does, do you see how that was pockets open up? That's okay. You kind of want them to do that. It, it's, it's, uh, it, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna force that open and you do want it. You want to be able to put things in there and sometimes if you're too perfect with your stuff, it, will, it won't. All right, that, that's looking pretty good, all right? All right, so now we can, um, we can stamp. Now this one, we can actually stamp the sides because it's just one side and it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. But for the cover, you've got all four sides and uh, you know, I just wasn't having any luck keeping it straight, so I'm gonna go put my pencil away. All you need for this is some memento, tuxedo black memento. And if you wanna use a stamparatus, or I would, but you really don't have to. You can probably get it pretty straight without doing all of that. So when I saw the mother do, fortunately, I was all by myself up there. By the time I got to the top of the driving range and I saw the deer way up ahead of me. So I stopped right away and got off my bike. I was trying to quietly get out my camera, <laughs> you know. So cute, that fawn was like so, so cute. All right, now what I've been doing with this is I've been just, I pat it, I rub it, I want to make sure this is good and covered. I've got my fan on up there, up above me. It's going to stay nice and cool in here. And um, so I, hopefully it won't. But I you just, just eyeball it. Make sure you've got really good coverage. And then you'll be ready to stamp. I'm going to just do this side. And I'm going to kind of come to the very, very end of it. And I'm double checking make sure that I'm getting to the very end. All right, hopefully I did. Um, again, this one, if it's not perfect, oh well. This part's gonna be hidden anyway, but you can probably fix it if you needed to. All right, so that was good. That worked out fine. We're gonna do this side. I could have could have not, I should have not brought it quite that far over to the edge, but because it's a cling stamp, it's harder to tell. I do wish it was a photopolymer one. Any stamp that is a directional one, oh man, if you can get it as a photopolymer, you're always gonna do better. Kind of the nature of it. Okay, I think I'm way too far to the edge again, but not quite, see, so now I can see it, but it's good enough. I'm, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> it's good enough. I would have liked to have done it more perfectly. But now that you've watched me do that, you can see why I'm doing what I'm doing. Now, I'm trying to keep my Simply Shannon from being just totally ruined in one setting. If I can find it, where is it? 
There it is. Okay. So that's why I gave it a preliminary clean. Otherwise, I'd get so much ink on there that I have to stop and go clean my... So, oh, not because it act, it actually can keep... It'll keep going, like, forever. I don't know how the Simply Chamois does, but it just does. It keeps keeps going and going and going. It's just sweet, but my fingers start getting really gross. Oh, I don't want to remove that because I want to actually do all of the other edges. So I should have just kept it inked up. All right, so now what you're going to do while I'm preparing my other stuff, these things are going to get glued on right here like that, okay? But I'm, I'm going to do that in a minute. First of all, I want to get all of my strips with my border done. And I'm just taking my scrap of real red that I cut out those templates from. And I'm going to just stamp four, I think just four lines is going to be plenty. Um, I have four sides. I'm, I'm thinking I did have a little heart, that radiating stitched heart. I kind of did one of the borders on it and um I, I'm not sure that I liked it all that much oh I forgot I do need to cut out or I need to stamp the whole side for the arms too and I'm not sure what the dimension of that is so let me stamp these four pieces that are going to be the tops and bottoms It doesn't have to match or do anything because these are all going to get cut out. Just so that you can get a nice border for all of the front card. Isn't that checkerboard great though? Uh, do we have a background checkerboard? You know, a big background one? If so, I don't have it. It would have been the kind of thing I'd probably never buy. Um, just because it would be, I don't know, that I don't, I don't, I try not to buy a ton of background things that are too directional because I'm not very good, I guess, at stamping it. I don't know, because I, I just don't have luck with that stuff. Oh, don't take it off. You're not done. All right, so I, I'm going to cut those out in a minute. Got a few things we're still working on, um, but I think I can get my arm pieces here. So let's just check. So... This is your little accordion front. And yes, it'll fit perfectly. We're going to cut this 10 and a half by 2 and 1 fourths. Okay, so get out your cutting board. And we're going to cut it at... Let me turn it this way so that you can... So I can see the... This dimension. And I'm going to cut off these things before I ruin them. Okay, and put that to the side. We'll deal with that in a minute. All right, so now 10 and a half. 10 and a half inches. Do I want it out of red? I think I want it out of black. I do, I do. I want it out of black. I almost cut it out of red. I actually do want it out of black. So let's cut, since I'm doing that, let's cut the other dimension, which, which is two and one-fourths. Okay, so two and one-fourths. And then now we'll cut it again at ten and a half, because this is the arm piece that I'm doing. Ten and a half, and then we'll go ahead and score it right now. If I can find my score blade. There it is. Sweet. All right, so we're going to go, we're going to score it at one and three-fourths. Okay, one and three-fourths. One and three-fourths, three and a half. I am going to repeat it several times, three and a half. I know when I'm watching the video, I appreciate that. Three and a half. Five and one-fourths. Okay, five and one-fourths. Five and one fourth, seven inches, seven, seven, seven. And the last one is eight and three fourths. Eight and three fourths, coming up. Eight and three fourths, we're done. Okay, so now this is gonna go, I think this goes like that. Now I think I had it 
wrong when I did it before. So I think you do valley in front and then mountain in full, and that's how it's supposed to go in your card. But I did it this way. And when you do it this way, you can easily put in that little pop-up. Now, if you're not going to put in a little pop, you could do the little pop up there too. It just it's going to come out a little differently, so you can do it either way, really. But this way, you're going to end up with one, two, three, four, five, six panels showing. If you do it this way, you're going to be gluing this here. Okay, you're going to glue it like that, and you're going to end up with four panels showing. So I want you to just see what that looks like. Okay, so for mine, and here's my little pop-up comes up, although it's needing help to function properly. It's been used a lot for one thing. <laughs> All right, so I've got four panels showing because I have my mountain fold in the middle. But if you do it this way, you can still do a pop-up. I think it'll still work. Um, but you're gonna have six panels showing. All right, and the reason that makes a difference is because when we, we're gonna stamp this and then we're gonna cut the panels from this red. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside for a minute. We're gonna stamp this again with our border. We're gonna just stamp it all across and then I am gonna cut out the panels. I think I'm gonna need, I'm gonna stamp this all the way across. I'm not exactly sure how much of it I need, but we're just gonna stamp it all the way across like that. And it's not gonna be even with your bottom. We're gonna have to fix that. Don't worry about it. This is why I'm doing it like this. Okay, so I'm not trying to make that match up at all because I'm going to end up having to um, fix the bottom anyway. All right, very good. So let me clean that. I think we're done with this for now. And maybe permanently, I don't know. I just never, I'm always thinking I'm going to have to get something out again. I always put it away and then have to get it out again. So that mother dear took her little fawn off before I really had a chance to get my camera out, of course, or anything, but it was awfully, awfully cute. I was wondering where our deer were. I hadn't seen them on the path, and I've been attributing it to the fact that there are just too many people out on the path when I'm going, but I don't know if that's the case. All right, so let's do the panels. Okay, let me find my panel pieces to have my dimensions. So we want our panel pieces to be two inches by one and a half. We're going to do six of these. Okay, so it's going to be one and a half inches across and two and a half, or two inches, not two and a half, but two inches up. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to try to... We're going to cut, cut this in half, first of all, and at least cut off my edges. I'm going to move my, before it flies off. And I'm going to try, I'm going to put the line right on my board, and then I'm moving it up a little bit out of the track. And I'm putting my line just on the gray Part here just so I have a little bit of red showing and then that way I'm going to get a nice straight edge with this piece that I've got cut. All right so now this is not of course square since I've done that so I, I, I'm going to cut each piece. So we've got one and a half inches each way so one and a half Okay, so that gave me three of those. I put my scrap on the side. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to line. Oh, I'm going to have to trim some here because I can't even.
and you can really get it lined up very well. All right, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna put my black border here. Let me do this too so I can actually do what I'm trying to do. I wanna have enough of an edge showing of the red. Okay, so I'm putting the edge of my stamped image right there so that where the track is, I'll cut a straight line and it's uh, kind of going to have to make it a little shorter than that on this one. There we go. Okay, so now we have a straight edge there. And now we'll go one and a half. Put your edge up against one and a half. Just because it's gonna, you know, it's gonna wanna follow whatever other squared off spot you've got. Make sure it's following the new, the new line. One and a half, and then one more, one and a half piece. And that's my scrap. Okay, now these all have to be two inches. And I know that you could have just cut out if you if you had stamp this exactly perfect and it was straight right where you wanted it <laughs> then you would be able to just cut the two inch piece all in the one and the one and a half but I'm I'm not doing it that way okay so two inches each one you want it to be two inches now that is not the squared off edge though is it and I'm not a hundred percent sure that that's squared so I'm gonna no, it wasn't. Because I think I had one side that might have been. No, it looks pretty squared. Okay. Two inches. And another two inches. And this one, two inches. Now that one isn't, obviously isn't squared, so let's do it this way. There we go. Two inches. That's why it's better if you just do it in one piece, but I did not. and two inches all right now we have six of these all in two inch increments two by one and a half inch increments and then those are going to all go on our little panel pieces So you're just going to glue those all on there like this. It should all go on pretty easy. I am going to have a seat and let's see how it goes. I'm sometimes good at this, sometimes not. You just never know what you're going to get. That little mother deer, she took her little fawn like right into the grove of trees that was really close on that driving range. It's like the backside of probably hole nine I don't really know because I've never I'm not I'm not a golfer I bike by it and I look at it and I enjoy the grass and the landscaping now what I've just done is I've just decided I'm doing it this way by putting it on this side I guess I could fold it differently but I'm putting all of these panels on, even though this is, I only did the four panel deal. We'll do the six panel deal and we'll see how it works because I haven't done that. <laughs> kind of preferred to just have the, the four. But I've seen die, die, at Dye's Den, again, that's what this, this little fun fold is from. If you go and check out her website, she's done several different I think mean, she's done several different stamp sets with this design, and they're all really super cute. All right. Get in there. Almost done. I'm not actually...
actually stamping anything on these, so that's why I'm attaching them. If you were going to attach, you know, if you were going to stamp any sentiments on them, then you would want to be stamping your sentiment before you glue this down. You can do it after. I've unfortunately had to do that, but it is better if you just stamp it first before you adhere everything. Ah, it looks like, no, I, I did the right number. I thought I had an extra there. That happens sometimes. Oh, if you're, are you a pizza lover? Oh boy, making this card just makes me think of pizza the whole time. It's like, oh man, we have our favorite place down here in Springfield called Eris Pizza. And um, they have an Athena, Athena's Pizza. It has thin crust. You can tell them to get, you if you want it well done, or not as done. We didn't even know that. We've been here for two years almost before the waitress said, do you want it well done or not? Or, you know, how do you want it done? I was like, what? I get it. I get a choice. Like that was sweet to know because we had many times gotten it when both of us probably would have liked it a little bit more, less done, but it was still delicious. We didn't complain or stop going. Okay, so we stamped these. Now we're going to glue these down right on here. This is not your pocket, so you can put all the glue right to the edge and in the center because you've already done your pocket. That day, that ride to the park, this was last week. Uh, I think it was last Thursday was probably one of my best days of seeing the wildlife for this summer because as soon as I got to the park I sat on the bench that I usually head to and turned my head and just then oops make sure you haven't covered up that spine at all it does need a little bit of room there oh come come oh, I think I'm stuck with it now it's on there pretty good but you can see my fold is a little bit complaining now. Okay. There was a room. It's just like right at the edge there. Okay. That's on. Now we get this one on. I turned my head and a, I don't know if it was a blue-gray heron or if it was just a heron. Because I, I, I think there's a lot of herons around here. There's a lot of lakes. Oh, it was beautiful just then, taking off from the lake, soaring. Of course, no, no picture, because I have a little thing called Tri-City Crow Garden. I started it in the Tri-Cities when we lived in Washington State, so that's why it's called Tri-City Crow Garden. Um, because in the Tri-Cities, that's in the desert, and, and um, all of the gardening information that I was gleaning from different sources were all written from a perspective like here where it's nice you know for gardening lots of water <laughs> so I started a little blog a little Facebook page just to as I would have liked it if I had one available that was a resource for people in the Tri-Cities because it's very unique well I I couldn't rename the page and I'm not gonna you know it has all my old garden pictures on there and I don't want to I want to look at them. They're pretty. My garden was really nice back there. And so I just thought, fine, I'll just keep the name as is, even though I'm not in the Tri-Cities anymore. But Okay, now you're going to take these, this, and this is going to glue right on the edge. Isn't that cute? And then it's going to fold on in, in the inside there. So you do want to make sure it's placed properly so it's going to go in and stay in there. Okay, now I'm going to have to add more to mine than I did on the other one because I've got six panels instead of the four. Like I said, you can fold it the other way. If you do and you, and you only want the four panels, it works. But you're going to glue this side on each to these. And it, the card will not open all the way, as you see when you do that. So anyhow just just different ways that you can do it but i'm gonna gonna do it the way i'm supposed to and we're gonna glue these sides 
to those sides. Um, get some clips. You'll want to clip this to make sure that they stay on. While you're doing some other things to finish this card. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this where I want it and see if that's going to work. Yeah, that's going to work pretty good. And then I'm going to glue one, this, this side first. Let's put it like right there. So my red border is covered up right there, but I still have an edge. Still have an edge here and an edge here. So there's just plenty of room. And I'm gonna glue this side first to that card. Okay. I'm putting a good amount of glue on here because I do want this to hold. It's gonna want to not hold because it's gonna have a little bit of pressure put on it at times. Okay, now when you close this, make sure your, your sides on the sides here are even. Okay, and, and your spine is where you want it. Okay, so I've got that glued on. I see all this little glue that from my fingers all over here. <laughs> I will have to get my little remover and get rid of, but I'm gonna do that for now. Make sure that's on there good before I open this up. And then I'm gonna put my, now see that looks crooked right there. Ah, should not have been crooked. And actually we're gonna live with it because I, I think to move it now is gonna be problematic. So I'm gonna live with it being a little crooked. We're gonna close that. I shifted it, obviously, when I was holding it. Ah, I hate that when that happens. But this is why you wanna leave an edge so that things like that aren't gonna to totally disrupt your whole design. You can live with it, you'll have to. Okay, so we're gonna flatten that down. I'm gonna take these out here for a minute just so that I can get this exactly where I want it. Hopefully there won't be any wiggling going on this time. Okay, I'm gonna push that down, all making sure these edges on the sides are right where I want them so that it can close. You know, the main thing is you wanna make sure that when it's in its closed position, it's gonna, it's gonna work well. Okay, so you can see it's at an angle because I screwed that up, but it really doesn't even make any difference. So you can see these are at an angle slightly. I, I messed it up. It shouldn't be. It should be nice and squared off down here. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to live with it, and when I put on my things, I'm going to kind of conceal that a little bit. I'll probably put stuff on the edge there that I, I might not have done if I hadn't totally messed it up. Okay. So let's put the glue on here really quick. And while that's holding and securing really well, I am going to cut. You want to cut just to the, to the right of that black line. So you're seeing all of your stamped image. You do not want to cut on the black line. Not on this one. Now on some things it wouldn't matter, but this one you don't because for one thing that black line is not perfectly straight it's it's artistic it looks really nice and, uh, and you want that it's if if you did not have red on the card that we're going to be putting on the front then you would want to cut on the black line but this is going to match the red on the actual card I've got going there so it'll blend in nicely and look good because I'm obviously I'm not cutting perfectly straight here so this is just cutting out the image all right then the other thing I saw I, I'd seen a bird on that web page you'll see a, a video that shows birds swooping down onto the lake and I I asked my husband what is this what are they doing because it didn't look like they were they are not getting fish, and they were like little birds, and I didn't get it. They, it, I saw several of them, and um, this was a several weeks ago. So it's, it's in a video on my Tri City Crow Garden Facebook 
page, uh, you know, pretty far down there. If you want to look at it, it was just interesting. Well, we didn't really know. And then a few weeks later, I couldn't, it was far enough out there. I couldn't really see, you know, what kind of birds they were. But we saw in our church parking lot a fly catcher. We had to come home and identify it on the computer later because uh, it was, we, well, it wasn't their church parking lot. It was when we were getting coffee the morning before church a few weeks ago. And this bird that we'd never seen a bird like that. It was so cool. And um, it was a fly catcher. Well, anyway, I saw, all, now that I'd identified it, knew what it was, I could see what it was. It was a fly catcher. It was coming down and skimming the lake. So I guess there must have been like little water bugs on there or something. I don't know. That was really interesting, really cool. All right, now for the front of your card or front of your, your pieces, um, I believe this is the correct dimension. Let me just look here. It looks not quite right. Yes, this is correct. All right. So we're going to cut a red piece five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Now the instructions that you, I had were to cut three of them because, um, I think she put DSP on the inside here as well, but I'm not because I like that black backing for this project so we're just doing a piece of cardstock there so five and five eighths by three and seven eighths let me get my last piece of real red here i got my tray again all right five and five eighths oh i think we'll go this direction five and five eights actually let's go yeah five and five eights five and five eights is just bigger than your your standard card size so <laughs> it's just enough to kind of mess that up on other things so I'm gonna only cut partially down so I don't totally ruin this whole piece this way and then we're gonna go three and seven eighths Okay, and now that piece um, is going to get glued onto the front. But before I glue it onto the front, we are going to glue on these borders right here. So if you want to line it up so you can kind of get an idea where your checkerboards are going to go, you want to match it up. All right, you see what I mean? You want to match it up. So, let's see here, that could go there. But I actually want it right on the edge. Turn it this way. Let's see, no, that's not quite working. That one's not quite working, so we're gonna go like this. That's still not gonna quite work. <laughs> Trying to get it to work. Ah, there, there. I think that will work. It will. That will work right there. Okay. And then this one. Aha, uh -huh, it does. It does. It works. That'll go there. Like that. It's just a matter of getting it. There we go. And then that can go there. Perfect. Okay. All right, it's not going to be perfect, it, but it's going to be better than you would have gotten if you tried to stamp it, I guarantee you. And I kind of want it on the edge, but it's not really working, so I'm going to eyeball where I've got it going. And it looks like I'm going to be leaving like a sixteenth of an inch edge. I'm going to slide you off, and we're going to glue this strip on the side first. I'm coming right to the edges pretty much because I want to make sure it stays on there good. Again, I'll deal with glue issues later. Oops, I have it the wrong way. I'm going to turn it the other way. I think that was the way I really wanted it. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna move this up a tiny bit. I'm leaving more border down here than up here because this strip is gonna conceal that down there. All right, so now I'm gonna do this one. Like, well, that doesn't work. I thought it did, but it doesn't. Huh, well, I'm gonna clip it. This is the longer one, so I can clip this little bit off right here. And then I can match up my little checkerboard. Let's see if it's matching up this way, like I thought I had it matched up. Because I can't alter, I need the long one. I can alter this, but I can't alter that. Yeah, that's not really working there. It, You know, on this case, it's not going to work. <sighs> I keep thinking I can get it to work, but it just never really is. <gasps> oh, that one it is. It is, it is. Okay, so this one, oops, I'm going to do that there. This one I just need to clip off this little bit right here. And this will work. I know this seems time consuming, but it's worth it. It's so cute. Oops. I only need about four inches here of this. Perfect. Okay. And then you just clip off your excess. Okay, and then this one's going to go right on top of that, right there. Oh, you are so cute, little checkerboard. When I was at the park, I was going to go smell the flowers and look at all the ones that are blooming right now. And I, I, every time I go to the park anymore, it seems like somebody's always sitting in, there's only two benches right there in the garden. It's not a very big rose garden, but it is a nice one. Oh, always say, or somebody's working and worse, they're, they're working it. Can you believe they have the audacity to do that in my rose garden? Every time I go in there, I think, hmm, it is so, this is why I had to grow my own. <laughs> so I can sniff and, you know, peruse all the roses to see how they're doing. At first I thought I could just get by with their rose garden, but now... I'm glad I went ahead and worked it because uh worked my own in because boy I really love roses and they are beautiful here. All right, so again we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have to see if we can file good. It does match up perfectly. All right, so we're going to clip here where that square is and then I'm going to clip on that square right there. And glue this on, and now we'll have our perfect, nice little border for our chef. Hmm. Not sure if I could. I think I is it should it be the other way? No. My edge here is kind of problematic. Let me clip that off right there. There we go. All right, very good. All right, now that goes on the cover of your front piece. Just pick the side that you think is the best to put at the top because that's what's going to be the most noticed. And um, generally one, one corner is probably going to look better than another when you're trying to match things up like that. That's just the nature of things. 
And our little chef is going to go on the bottom down here so you can, oops, conceal that a little bit. Oh, rats. Look at what I did. <laughs> Look at what I did. Okay. There we go. All right, very good, very good. All right, now I have already got over here somewhere, let me put away all of my little templates. That is the basics for making this cute fun fold. And as you can see, it was really super easy to do and come together. This one, I don't think I've done this for a team meeting. I think we're gonna have to do this for a team meeting. Um, when I do a team meeting, you get all of your supplies like a template. And see how that folds up? You can fit it in an envelope. I can mail it to you. And we have our team meeting all ready to go. All in a bag and ready to go. Sometimes I make you guys cut things out, but not always. So I've already cut out several things. Here's a couple of my extra pieces that I saved in case I needed it for a package. This is from that What's Cooking set. We're gonna slide you here, isn't that cute? And tie something there. Oh, this is from my Le, Le Shop. I kind of found it, Jeff found it when he was vacuuming downstairs, I think. So let me take that out. This is my little corner piece if I decided I wanted to do a little pop-up going on here. Ah, we've got like all kinds of fun little folds to make a little pop out. Let's see if I can do this because I kind of forget how it goes. No, it goes like that, like that. This is actually a little piece from a Karen Berniston. And I kind of forget how it all fits together, but <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was a fold. I don't think it was. I think it goes down like that. Oh yeah, there we go. It goes like that. There we go. Basically, you have your little champagne glass stem folding down into a corner. And then you can glue these sides you see. Now this actually is a, a twist one. Um, if I did it different, I clipped it a bit so that you're not getting the whole effect here, but it can twist and pop up. But I mean, even if you don't want to do that, you can always, in any kind of a fold, you can stick something like that in and then glue those sides. And when you open it, it should, the theory is, I glue that, see that will pop up. I'm not gonna do it this time. I, mean, I don't think I need to. Here's our little chef guy, he is so cute. I did, I colored him with crumb cake on his pants, his belt, and around some of the edges. Little real red marker there. Uh, I forget what flesh tone, but that's his flesh tone. For the crust, I think I used, it looks like smoky slate on the tray probably a little bit of pebble path on the very bottom. Um, crumb cake again uh, around the crust and probably a little bit of bronze in there as well. And then um, the cheese is daffodil delight and then a little bit of melon mango and pine uh, pie, uh, pumpkin pie to give it some orangey yum bubbly up bubble that cheese and tomato sauce. Oh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. And then um, I might have even put dots of bronze just to get some bronze in there. If you're using those blending pans, it'll all blend together nicely. I don't know if you can see the delicious cheese there. For the pepperoni, I used, oh boy, what did I use? Here, let me look at my colors, shall I? I did write them down. All right, so for my pepperoni, I did, let's see if I told you correct on the other things. Cheese, oh, cinnamon cider. Is what I did for the crust. Some little, but br that bronze is almost like cinnamon cider, so that will work. Oh, and some so so saffron actually instead of daffodil delight for my cheese. But I think I used that as well, and it was fine. 
Um, for the, the pepperoni, though, I used uh, some Calypso Coral. I just did a little dot of Calypso Coral uh, or Copper Clay. Either one will work. And um, then I dotted some some uh, something darker in there. I wanted some more dots on the pepperoni because on this particular one, he doesn't have any dots. If you see the pieces of the pepperoni, we're going to use these pizza pieces. On the pieces, there are some dots, but there weren't any on this guy's. So I added those probably with a black marker. And then I took some ivory and just kind of colored and smoothed it in. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon cider on the edge of the pepperoni. All right, for the basil, I used um, old olive for the lines and then colored it with garden green. Or no, I think that was with, um, not garden green. Um, what's that other one? Granny apple green. Now, for this guy, oh, I haven't cut out his legs. You're going to have to fussy cut this guy out. And um, when I had put him on the card, I decided I wasn't going to cut out his little his little arm space right there. But um, after I looked at it, I kind of changed my mind on that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So when I do something like that, I just use my... Um, my hole punch to get a start and then you can you can fussy cut out some of the more the finer spots of these dies I mean these these stamps without dies <laughs> oh boy I like them to have dies but when they don't you know as long as I'm not making a ton of them now this one I might use this guy a lot he's pretty cute We'll want to put some dimensionals on him. And we're going to do that right now. Oh, you are so fun. Oops, I hope that's not poking out. It might. Let's see if I can peel it off. Ah, kind of, sort of. Today would have been a perfect day to go out on a bike ride. Man, I wish I had, but I, I didn't. I got up too late. I just did not have time. But Jeff, when he came home from working out, said, Oh, I thought you'd be out riding your bike already because it's like a perfect day out there. Rats. Missed it. I could still go out, but usually by the afternoon it's a little warmer and I'm not nearly as enthusiastic about it. But I did console myself sitting on the bed, on the porch, looking out at the trees with my coffee, that the wind was blowing just a little bit enough to maybe make me not want to go out in the, on the bike anyway. I consoled myself that way. I do want to see that little mother deer with her fawn again. That was so cute. I you people who live in the woods or near and have deer all the time, you're like, ah. I, we got plenty of deer if you want to see any. <laughs> but, oh, I do want to put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of twine there. What kind of twine? Um, I, I want something that's going to show. And I actually have a ton of this Cajun Craze twine that was available who knows how long ago. And, it, and so I'm going to use it. I just I have a ton of it. I think the crumb cake, the regular linen threads, I'd probably look even better, but I'm going to use some of my Cajun craze up. Oops, if I can get it to go. There we go. Oh, I should have probably glued this down rather than doing this because this is right where that gift card's going to be sliding in and out. Oh, well, it's kind of too late now. Okay, actually, I want that like, no, I don't want that like that. I forgot. That is not what I want to do. 
We're taking all of those guys off because this is what I want to do with this. I want this to be glued on like right here so that this can be slid off, off and on. I mean, a, a gift card can be slid in behind it. So you just want to make sure your glue is way past there. Okay, and I don't really want any of my twine to... <gasps> no! Okay. Got glue all over the place. There you are. There we go. Don't want you guys showing out of the card. All right, now we've got our little pieces. Okay, we're gonna stick, I'm gonna stick those on. I did a big piece of, or, or I mean, I did one of the big pieces. All right, you can do that. We've got the little mini pieces. I just cut them all out. There's the little ones. There are little bit little, little tomatoes and garlic, and that's what I just put on all of these panels. Okay, so we're just gonna have fun with that. Let's see, I've got a bunch of those. And you just got to make sure anything that you stick in is going to stay on the panel. It won't stick out, you know, oddly. Okay, like so. Make sure. Good. Staying in there. I'm not going to use all of my garlic. Do you like garlic? I don't want extra garlic. My goodness, it tastes so good, but sheesh. Garlic breath is like the worst. <laughs> we have spot. I found some really wonderful salsas in our grocery case. They are delicious. But it's like, oh, man... Garlic breath, like so bad. Okay, um, well, if we're gonna put this here. Now I put the dimensional on the wrong side. Let's put you here. Okay, that way we can have our pizza kind of poking up there a little bit, but the gift card can still be down below. You can take your little mini dimensionals just take off that backing. Oops, that didn't work, so I'll just do that. Put some mushrooms on it, if you like mushrooms, tomato. What, mostly with old little things like that, I take the backing off and take your piece and stick it right on there. And peel it off, it's really ready to go. All right. Here's a. I've got an actual joke about pizza today. Can you believe it? <laughs> I've been saving this one for weeks. Uh, this is a joke about pizza. Okay, here it goes. Let's see if you can get it. I could tell a joke about about pizza, but fill in the blank. Now that is supposed to be garlic. I know it looks like a little chef's hat, but it's supposed to be garlic. Okay, I could tell a joke about pizza, but it would be a little cheesy. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad joke, but it was good. How about the things that kids use, words that the euphemisms they use these days? Like, is that a good thing, or <laughs> half the time, you know, what they, whatever it is that they come up with, I'm like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You'll have to tell me. Like, 
I don't know. No, no, it's good, Mrs. Crow. That was good. That's what the kids would tell me at school. And then I would know a new, a new, uh, you know, word for the day. Like that was real important, I know, but that was part of the joy of being a paraeducator or a teacher. Jeff can come home and tell me things now that he's substitute teaching. He'll tell me, did you know? No, I did not know. Sometimes there are things I did not want to know. All right, we're almost done. See, it's taken a little bit because, ah, uh, you know, you could put pineapple on there. You could put, um, oh, I've got some other things I haven't cut out that I can put on there. So let's do, let's do just, I don't know, I might even put a sentiment in here too. Let's just do one more round of my little mushroom and I love the little mushroom. That is so adorably cute. And mushrooms, like one of my favorite, let's put you there, things on did you know? You probably did. Until we moved here, I didn't really know. You can choose canned or fresh mushrooms. <laughs> I'm thinking I did not know people liked canned ones. I thought that anyone would want fresh, but um, I've gotten canned ones before and not and thought, well, I'll never get pizza from that place again, but did not know that people actually choose canned over fresh, but they do. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put something else there. I'm gonna tie this shut just so I can see what's going on and clean off all of my little things because I wanna do a tiny bit more stamping and we need we need the, come on, the sentiment on the front and be all done. Oh, you are so cute. I'm still saving that. Okay, those we put up and out of the way. That we're not using. The, all the little this dimensional backings. I, I do try to clean these up pretty quickly because, my goodness, you just, you'd be surprised how far they can get in a house just with my little fans and nothing blowing them all over the place, I guess. Okay, they just end up everywhere. I found them downstairs. Even though I've never, I don't think I've ever used any downstairs. They get on the bottom of my feet, I bet. All right, so now let's grab out. We're going to use the You've Got a Pizza My Heart. Oh, I love it. That is so hilarious. I love that. That is much better than my pizza joke. Okay, so we'll get a piece of this. And stamp. we're going to do that with black of course because that is really pretty much all I'm using today okay got a pizza my heart and and then I want to stamp my little mushrooms now see we've got these i'm going to stamp those these are all the other things that i am going to add from this what's cooking set to make this and see the dies that came with that oh if you didn't get it i'm so so sorry for you all right so this comes with a little celery which i don't need but i'm gonna end up with it on here i'm gonna just go like I'll try to get the celery off my circle this time. Okay, like that. Uh, let's do another couple here in case I need any more. And I don't need any more garlic. The little um, salt and pepper. Very cute. 
I'll use that. And my knife and rolling pin. Oh, it's a sharp knife. And the rolling pin, because you can't do a pizza crust without a rolling pin. Right, and let's see, what else do I need? Oh, the other things that I'm using are that little spatula and fork or spoon or whatever is actually in our stamp set. So we're going to put that right there. Perfect. Hi, Andy. It's nice to see you. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah. Um, anybody, if you've got anybody who likes pizza, you definitely have to have this one. And there, there's nobody in our family that doesn't love pizza, I think. I think that's true. I know that's true of all of our kids. Um, let's see now. So for my, for these, I think, I can never remember what I've used. Okay, number five is like one of the lightest browns, but I don't know if that's what I actually ended up with. It kind of looks close, but not close enough. So I'm putting some number five in, and then I'm going to keep searching here till I find ivory. Oops, because I think for Stampin' Up! Browns, ivory is like one of the best for blending everything nicely. Hey Andy, you know what? I have been using my color lifter a lot. Do you know, have you followed much of what Stisha, um, Stisha Bloodheart does? Man, uh, her coloring is fabulous. And, um, and in, I think it was in last, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it was last month. It must have been like last one of her last month things. Um, she had her colors shown, and she was using that color lifter a lot. It looked great. Oops! All of my tips are slightly ruined because I've been. I tried to extend all of the that big tip end with my adding some alcohol ink to it, and it totally ruined my tip. Totally ruined my tips. All right. Now, I do think number five is going to work really well here on this um, rolling pin. And here, we're going to just do this for the color mostly. And good old ivory just to finish that out. Oh boy, it's squeaky squeaky. Take that. A little bit of number five again. Okay, that's not dark enough, so now I'm going to get out, what's this? This is 400. That's not going to work. Let's try 100. That's going to be nice and dark, just to get in a little bit more color on some of this. Okay, I think those guys are good enough. And then we want some, uh, sir, I think we'll do a sweet sorbet instead of real red. Because the sweet sorbet is, there's my real red, but I'm gonna start out with our light sweet sorbet. Oh, you are way too dark. 
Hmm, that is odd. What did I get from that before? I don't know. It's too light real red. I don't think. Oh, uh, yeah. No, 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 no. So we're going to go ahead since I've already done it. Do all the tomatoes that way, but I'm not happy about it. So now I can demonstrate for you, <laughs> unintentionally, but I am doing it, that color lifter. But actually, if you keep a really good... It's like super filled up with its removal ability. It does lift stuff really nicely. It's just that you're going to have to buy a bunch of these. I kind of prefer to do the color I actually want instead of doing this. But if you're sticking with stamping up some, you know, ink, sometimes you're going to have to use this color lifter. It will at least stay the same ink color family. And it does lift it up really nice. You can see that it does. Isn't that good? Okay, so, and there's my tip. It actually was doing pretty good. I've been using it a lot lately, and it's still nice and white, keeping everything good. I'm going to cut this. It, my celery's staying in, and I kind of wanted it out, but it's in. So I guess I'm going to have to just go ahead and color it. I didn't really want it in there, but... And just because I can only find this really close, this is, call me Clover, and it's probably not the color I would have chosen, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. I won't, those are the ones I'm gonna cut out. I won't be using those. That's the only one that's gonna actually show. Um, yeah. So now we can cut this out. I am gonna cut this out. Look at that. No, no, no. I need my stamp set. Um, sty stylish, no, what are it? Stylish Shapes Dies has the circle. That's what I want. Good, that's not coming in there. And that will fit just like that. We're going to cut that out. Those will have to be cut out with the dies that go with that. All right, let me just cut you down here. Raise you up just a tiny bit. We're almost done. Okay, there and there and there. I'd like to get it rid of as much of that. Possible. Who would want celery on their pizza? Okay, now, Andy, if you've got a son that does gourmet pizza, then I bet you you've had some really unique pizzas. Do you remember when we were young? How you, I mean, these pizzas they create, you would never, ever in a million years have, have wanted it or thought of it. And they're actually pretty good. It's just different for sure. Okay, so let me put these away because I'm done with that. I was going to do a sentiment on the inside because I had those extra ones. Like, um, So on the inside, I have my pop-up is You're Supremely Awesome. Okay, These are pretty large. Together we make a deluxe combo has got to be in there somewhere because it's just too fun. But that one is pretty big too. I'm going to use, I'm going to stamp that one though and use my large flagged stylish die. First, let's cut these out. I have got, I think, this, that, and that, and that. Fabulous. And then all those little veggies have to be have to be fuzzy, fussy cut out, I think. I don't think I have dies for those. Jeff is um, very traditional with his pizza. So when he was happy to have the Athena pizza at our local, but hey, Freddie. I don't get to see you very often. It's nice to see you. 
you did sneak in. <laughs> so what kind of pizza do you like? Jeff doesn't like anything that he we used to be like. It was pepperoni and that was it. And I kind of got tired of having any meat on my pizza at all a long time ago. Um, I grew up as a, a Seventh-day Adventist, ad, uh, generally a, uh, a vegetarian. So I kind of like veggie pizza. I, that's what we had and loved it. So finally, we would go to the half and half. I'd eat, happily eat still a half a pizza. I could probably still eat a whole pizza. But I'd eat half, and so I'd have my veggies on my side. He'd have his pepperoni on our, his side. The kids, of course, liked the pepperoni, too. They were not happy with the veggies. And um, that worked out great for me. <laughs> Except for we'd have to order when the boys were home. And we'd get three pizzas. And, whew, I loved it. It was nice to be able to eat that much. I have a, almost a whole pizza to myself if I played my my cards right and had lots of veggie left over. <laughs> I'd be the only one eating it, like super sweet. Okay, so you do have to fussy cut those out. I'm not going to because I don't really need those. Um, those are just for that other stuff I'm doing. This is gonna go in under here, so I've got to lift his little dimensionals that I shouldn't have probably put down because I'm gonna have to redo that now, but I want that to go under his pizza. Okay, so we're gonna just glue this down. And right. Well, let's see, it's gonna stick out a bit, I guess, because his pizza's kind of like filling, covering up my heart. Yeah, it's gonna have to just stick up like right there, just a tiny bit, oh well. I think that's actually still sticking, I'm surprised. Okay, and then that's the front. Now you've got all these lovely panels inside. You can still be sticking on things. We've got our salt and pepper. Where's my packages here? Packages of dimensionals. Oh, come on now. Get off. There's one. Now we'll just do one here, like that. Ooh, Hawaiian, you'd be with my daughter. She loves Hawaiian stuff anyway. So Hawaiian pizza, she, yeah, she did like Hawaiian pizza. We did get that sometimes. Everybody liked it. I like it too. Um, it's not my favorite, but I do like it. It's good. And um, maybe that's why I didn't get it all that often because we all liked it pretty well. <laughs> like every. The Hawaiian pizza's all gone, sorry. Okay, like that. And our little knife for our cutting board. Oh, you are so cute. I think, I think we do need dimensionals on that. Let's get a piece of these dimensionals for this one. Like that. Uh, we have a new Hawaiian, I don't remember what it's called. There's actually a new Hawaiian restaurant starting up. So you still have your pockets for your gift cards here. Oh, why did you, oh, it did, it came undone. How dare you? I've been messing with it, apparently, when it was still tender, not quite glued well enough. Okay, get those clips back on there.
Okay, that stays down. And then we still have room for sentiment. You've got room for more pizza. I still have my pizza, garlic, other things, you know. And if you have other uh, stamp sets that are cooking type ones, you're always going to find something to add in there, I know. But I do really want to add... Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to pick up dies later. Um, oh, my rolling pin. I'll put that in later. I forgot about it. I want the... Uh, together we make a deluxe combo. It's so cute. I do also like... I guess I won't be doing that one inside because I forgot. And these are actually for my kids. And unfortunately, they don't live at home anymore. So that's not quite so appropriate. But this one will be. It's pretty long. I think we're going to have to do this in a two-step type thing. And since it's a, not a photopolymer, that does make it a little more problematic. So we'll just give it a go, see how it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can cut out the individual words. You can mask words. I'm going to do the old, just eyeball it. See if I can keep from, oh, I got some of it. that just a tiny bit there okay there's that and now we get the word awesome in oops I wonder if I got all of that yeah I think I did Oops, what I always do is forget to dry that off if you. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's going to work. And at least I'll be able to get that in a, it's, you know, that it, that one long line is great if you're wanting one long line, but if you don't, it's a problem. So anyway, there's a new Hawaiian restaurant opening up. And so I had to text my daughter right away and tell her there's a new Hawaiian restaurant in Springfield opening up. And I wonder if it will have spam because um, that was, she actually likes spam. Can you believe it? And um, I guess other people must too. Let me get one of these off the floor down here. I actually wanted to use this one. That, I don't know if we need that. Will this fit? No, it's close. We'll just do it in a little two-step and get it to work because that one actually would fit much better. And that's the one I want. So who likes spam? Are you a spam lover? Um, she, Mary said, um, yeah, they probably, well, they'll probably have, boy, what did she call it? I don't remember. She's the one that would know. She likes, she likes Hawaiian, so she's gone to several Hawaiian. I'm sure in California they have a bunch of Hawaiian restaurants, and I don't know if her husband, I don't know if he'd be a Hawaiian food lover. Thankfully, he's never suggested it when we've been down there. I am not, I'm not fond of it. It's just okay. Okay. Um, okay, so my stitches aren't going to really match up. Um, I'm trying to feel where it would fit in where those stitches are, and I'm not, I'm not being successful at all. So, I'm abandoning that plan and just going for it. The worst case scenario, what you can do if you're trying this two-step method and it's not really working out, it was close, is you can grab one of your bigger straight stitched ones and just redo it with a, you know, with one of those. But uh, I'm just doing it like this today because that's why it didn't match up because I was crooked on it even. Would explain it. All right, so now we've got that, and we can stick this here. Now, if I did my pop-up, 
You see how cute that would be? I'm going to stick it here. No, or here. Or, or here. Or here. <laughs> I'm just thinking, where do I want it? Where do I want this tag? Nah, nothing's working. Nothing's working for me. Ah, I should have. I'm going to restamp it. I don't like it. And I'm going to redo it. And I'm not doing that flag at all. Okay, that's just the way it's going. Today it's just going that way. I don't think I can get a big, long, skinny one's not going to fit there. Actually, it will. Okay, excellent. I didn't think it would. I thought I'd looked at it before and it did not, did not work. Obviously not. You like fried spam? Oh my goodness. This, I think, is similar to what Mary said they were going to have. Something. I don't remember, but I was like, oh my God. I didn't reply. <laughs> to her text because who knows when they visit us she might actually she's probably going to be listening later and now she'll now she won't but uh, she's pretty busy she's a busy mom so chances i think my chances are pretty good that she's not going to be listening all right now i need a long skinny die and i i know i have a long skinny die in some set but i can never remember what set it is and um, so I end up searching all over the place and then just going back to my old stitched rectangles because stitched rectangles have got everything. I, I, where are you, stitched rectangles? I bet you're out somewhere. Out and about because I'm not seeing you. And I don't think you're on the floor. Oh my goodness, where is it? Hmm got like everything but stitched rectangles you know we have this stitched all around stitched all around actually has you're stuck it has one straight line I'm still thinking I've got if I keep hunting I'm gonna find the rectangles it's got to be here somewhere Goodness. It's usually one that I keep really super handy. <laughs> so handy that I cannot find it. Come on. Oh, there it is. It was on my desk. Piles of stuff on my desk. Okay. So, you've got... This one's never big enough as far as width goes. It's close. It's exactly the right. It's not stitched. But the thing is, is I just had trouble lining up my stitches again. And I know none of these are going to be long enough or narrow enough. So I'm going to just go with that. if the cutting edge was down though. All right. Almost done. So I have discovered that we are going to have our pre-order for the new mini catalog in August. And I believe that means we'll be able to see the PDF for it by the end of this month sometime, I think be wrong that would be nice now that is a skinny tag <laughs> this um little die actually that's in your stitched rectangles now that is not for sale anymore but it should be and um if you had of it from when you purchased it long ago this is actually a perfect little roller size if you want to have you know put the pennies and the object rolls around that's a perfect perfect thing but it's actually going to work really good for me right here and I could almost fit it there huh all right I think we are almost done thank you so much for watching today I appreciate it 
appreciate you guys commenting so that I knew you were along with me. Yeah, I bet it does, Freddie. You know, that's sort of the thing about a lot of the foods we like is that it just, it's, uh, it's comfort food. Jeff and I were talking about the different kinds of things we found here that people think of as comfort food. For Jeff and I, it's pretty much bread, cheese, <laughs> everything on a pizza. <laughs> We're pretty simple. I think neither one of our families had a lot of cooking going on. Okay, you are too cute. Like I said, I'm going to have to send these to my kids, even though I, was, I would have never sent them pizza gift certificates, but this is just too cute. Gotta, gotta share it. All right, you've got a piece of my heart, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Oops, I'm trying to sit on all kinds of things that are behind me. Um, let me think about this camera bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can I work it so that it doesn't freak out? I don't know. I think... I think I'm having success, and I did. It did not turn about. When it turns about, it just shuts down. It says, ah, I don't do it. I don't do this sort of thing. All right, it is a beautiful day out there, but it is breezy, so now I don't have to go out on the bike ride. Maybe not tomorrow. Tomorrow, ladies, we are doing our team meeting, so don't forget, because I've got our project out, you will want a flower stamp set, something that has flowers, you know, about this big. A little bigger, but not too big. Little and then about that big, okay? Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you next, oh, next Monday. Yeah, next, next Monday. Sounds good, I think. Yeah, we are going to actually go to Washington, Missouri for a little trip, just a day trip to see some of the north side of the state that we have not explored yet, so that will be fun for us. I'll, next week, I will tell you all about it. All right? I will see you later. Thanks again. Um, you have a very blessed week. Bye.